you know, I'm not one that really cares about the whole social climate or politics and all that crap or having pronouns or politics in games like a certain someone. Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! But for me, it's like, I don't really care like what the game is as long as it's fun. But I've recently, it seems if there's a company that has been hell-bent on making sure that every single game in the planet is either character based around pronouns or is based around sexuality or a sexuality ambiguity or just pure on SJW style things which itself wouldn't be so bad but this company itself perversely forces itself into these kind of things and forces a narrative to revolve around that and the company that does that is called Sweet Baby Inc. Now Sweet Baby Inc has involved itself in a lot of new kind of games and it's also been in a lot of AAA games i.e. stuff like the Spider-Man games and there's been also seen to be writing for some of the God of War Ragnarok team which explains some of the mid-tier writing it had but that's besides the point after a while people started to get sick of this and started calling them out and of course at the time no one really cared nor wanted to hear about how SJWs were ruining games because you know we're past that time and we've evolved as a species until one curator on Steam decided to make an entire group called Sweet Baby Inc Game Detected which its entire point was to go over any game that would involve the Sweet Baby Inc model and to warn gamers about them. Now obviously at the time, this wouldn't have been seen much of a problem and be more people just going and claiming that they don't want to actually, you know, play games that involve this company because they might ruin the game that they're in and all their writing. Of course, then out of nowhere, an entire shitstorm happened and we have not only actual employees threatening to take down these kind of things and also threatening to try and take down their Steam accounts which they hold so privately but they're planning on making sure that this man pretty much has no life to live on on the social platform but with any further ado let's get in to the meltdown now then our saga begins when Niche Gamer tweeted out one Steam creator has made it their mission to warn gamers if Sweet Baby Inc is involved in this game and of course when this tweet was made a lot of people were curious about this and why the one man was making it their mission so then the article then goes on to tell us why that is, and it states as a new Steam creator is making their mission to warn gamers as Sweet Baby Inc has been involved in game development. For those who don't know, Sweet Baby Inc is a narrative consultation company who offers a variety of services which include writing, cinematics, dialogue, yada yada, narrative, story pitches, world building, character creation, restitution, culture, sensitivity, and all that kind of stuff, development, full scale development, you know, all the all the good stuff. And then it just goes on to talk about how, you know why their creator is doing this and all that but the thing i found interesting was is like why should the company care about this i don't think at the end of this is going to hurt their bottom line because if people are fans of these games or at least fans of like what they've seen then they're going to buy the game no matter what for them the writing won't really actually care and the fact is that these companies really are going out of their way to insult sweet baby ink into their narrative with all these kind of developments is a bit suspicious but you know, at the end of the day, if it means it, that they can use less money and get more profits, I'm not surprised that big companies are going to do this. But the fact is it completely, absolutely blew everyone out of the water was when some of Sweet Baby Inc's own actual employees started tweeting out harassment campaigns. And one of these employees was called Chris Kine. Now, Chris Kine tweeted out that the Steam creator has a has this harassment group led by, and then says their name, here is the threat of them trying to be slick so they don't get reported, even with discriminatory languages filtered off and the group itself filled with false code of conduct. And then he goes on to show pictures of, you know, the group, you know, the kind of rules, like no misogyny, no hate speech, no actually being racist or anything. The only part of this group is just to warn people that this company is being involved with this game. So if you're a fan of this game, you should be reware. Of course, anyone would actually just take that and go, oh, well, I'm annoyed that you're going after my company. But no. Chris decided to take it one step further and decided to do this. He decided to tweet out that the company, as in the anti-company group, should be reported and that the curator of said company should actually be reported as well. Now, I don't know about you, but this is just disgusting. Like, the fact is that you're willingly going out of your way to incite a harassment campaign on someone who is just making what could pretty much just be a warning group for people if they're not a fan of your company. It's sickening 
and the sheer fact is that you're actually trying to stop this and make sure no one knows what your games are being a part of. Even though, if you go onto the website right now and have a look at Sweet Baby Inc, you can see they have a full list of projects they're working on and who they're affiliated with. And this is all the support group is worrying about, is telling people, hey, this game has been part of this project before, so you might not want to do this if you're not a fan of Sweet Baby Inc. That's all this is. They just go into your website, find what games you're looking at and what you're working on, and warn people that you're working on them. That is it. Why are we getting so butthurt over this and over the fact is that you're actually deciding to go out and harass people? Why? Seriously, this, this even goes against the terms of service of Twitter and it's so stupid that you're actually doing this. Like, how dumb are you? But of course you think, oh, this could just be a one-off. This could just be one salty little man. But nope, another employee of Sweet Baby Inc. then decided to start not only victim blaming, but decided to also be the woe is me kind of guy, and that's Felix at home, who decided to tweet it out, getting a lot of sea of large sheets somehow blaming diversity as a reason for the layoff is generally in this economy as we are doing great and capitalism simply worked before Miles Morales was Spider-Man. They also don't recognise Miles as Spider-Man. The weirdest part is, is when I take these from the developers or the people who have devs in a bio, it's at least I don't know. It seems well that a dev would see hundreds of layoffs and blame not only the industry giants, but instead of a 15 person minority company founded by a black woman. Okay. These people think a company of narrative designers that are freelancers on a project somehow single handedly cause the employment collapses in games instead of, you know, the insane notion of infinite growth or capitalism greed. It's easier to blame diversity than it is that somehow. Okay, before we go on to more of these tweets, I just want to break this down, right? Do you notice how he actually mentioned in one of his tweets that the company was made by a black man? You know, sprinkling in those subtle little hints that, oh yeah, this is like, you're only going after this company because it was made by a black woman. Subtly foreshadowing the racism there, making it seem like this is the only reason why people are mad because it was made by a black woman. Which is itself I stupidly ironic because then you're going on to talk about how other devs should be helping you and me helping you cover up all of the stuff you've been doing and the sheer fact that you're actually upset about this is so stupid but not only that then you decide to bring up this weird little thing about miles morales was spider-man kind of thing but yeah then also saying below that he wasn't like everyone in the fandom knew that miles is a spider-man but he's not the spider-man the difference is is when we say spider-man we talk about the mainline spider-man peter parker but of course, these kind of people, you know, that they are so old attacking, believe that Miles is not even A-class Spider-Man because he's black. Well, I do agree there are some fucking stupid people who do believe that Miles is not a Spider-Man, but instead believe that he even uh, shouldn't exist is moronic and you can have that. But the fact is you're lumping people in who are a tiny, tiny, small minority and claiming that's the full thing with this little argument is so stupid. And it clearly tells you have really no argument and you're just going off. Anyway. Let's continue on with what this stupid idiot had to say. He goes on to say, The other part of this doesn't matter if you're telling them the truth. They think DEI just steps in and changes the whole game. That careers are forced by to see unhealing how the government, BlackRock I guess, as well as just parts in general, to make games more inclusive. Fighting misinformation would be great, but social media plus YouTube is not equipped to hold people accountable for doing their series such and such good faith. Just getting hits and proving their points in an absurd event of confirmation. It's wild out there, and nothing changes. Nothing. Sorry, no one has changed things. The number of people who understand that spreading information just leaves them to be racist in public with no consequences has increased dramatically. That has changed, probably requires some fighting from mobs authority. Probably. What the fuck is he talking about? What is he going on about now? Is this like, is this another schizo rant or something? Like, first you're talking about men's information, right? But yet, where are you going to talk about the fact is that one of your own employees was inciting a harassment campaign against a user and saying that their Steam account should be banned because they made a group which does nothing to you but hurt your bottom line and your reputation. But the fact is that you're not willing to talk about that but at the same time also claiming that everyone should be, you know, stop the spread of misinformation. I don't see any misinformation being spread. All they've done is just put up a group that warns people about the games you're working on, which can be found on your website. 
So if you don't want people to find out who you or what you're working on, stop putting it on your website and stop blaming others for your misinformation. Maybe you should be held accountable for the misinformation you're spreading. Hmm, funny that isn't it? You want to stop people spreading information that you seem as fake, but yet then you're completely fine with your colleagues and all that going out and attacking people. And the funniest thing I always find is like these people always go back to the same thing of misinformation, misogyny, racism, horrible hatred, um, you just hate black women succeeding kind of thing. It's like, are you just going to find something new to use eventually or are you just going to keep going like this? Because at the end of the day, this is all this is. Just a bunch of people schizo ratting that their company now is being attacked because they're actually showing your dodgy writing, your horrible forced inclusivity, which is nowhere near as good as it should be. And yet then you have this massive ego to claim how you should be able to find what is classed as misinformation and what shouldn't be and how everyone should be held to the same higher standards but yet you don't want to put one of your own employees in the same higher standards. Yeah, mate, go fuck off. Seriously. You're just a bunch of little snowflakes. I fucking hate that word but you genuinely are. You're just a bunch of little snowflakes that clearly don't understand the internet anymore and you're only sitting in a small little bubble. Seriously, you just need to either just log off Twitter or just literally put yourselves in private and just keep on working in your company because at the rate you're going, your company won't last much longer. So again, just just stop it. Just stop schizo posting and just stop being so spurgy about this. No one cares about misinformation. It's only been a little group that's out here trying to warn people. That's it. My god. Anyway. If you like this, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am out. Peace.